Now, don't get me wrong, LEGO Marvel certainly has some very questionable sets. And yes, I am talking about sets such as the Hulkbuster. But inside this box, I have probably the best LEGO Marvel set that's ever been released to date. And trust me, I know that's a big statement, but I'm pretty sure it is. So let's open it up and see exactly what we have inside. This is LEGO set 76253. Harry, stop. That's the wrong Guardians of the Galaxy set. But it's still pretty cool. Now this is a little more like it. This, ladies and gentlemen, is LEGO set 76255. And I personally believe this is the best LEGO Marvel set we've had to date. And there's a few reasons as to why I believe this. So throughout this video, we're gonna build this set, have a look at the minifigures, have a look at the price of it. And we're gonna have a more detailed look as to why I believe this is the case. And yes, my mum has a calendar of Chris Hemsworth. Help me. But in order to do this best, the first thing I have to do is take this pile of junk and turn it into all the minifigures and the ship. So here's where we import a time lapse and we cut forward to voiceover Harry. So as you can see here, it took me by surprise too, but this set really does contain a lot of pieces. The pictures online just really don't do it justice. The main thing I wanted to do, having not built a large set in a while, was to have a nice ordered structure for once and actually know where everything was. Yeah, that didn't last for long. I got started on the build and the only small negative to this set, especially for someone with a very short attention span such as myself, is just how repetitive it is. And that's another reason why I probably won't get Captain America's shield anytime soon. But now the problem is today is 28 degrees. And if you live in the UK, then they're temperatures that we're not really used to. Plus to add to that, I'm starting to lose a lot of daylight because it looks like it's about to rain. So I'm gonna go and put the Champions League final on and hope that Manchester City lose to Inter. And whilst I'm watching that, I'm gonna turn this into this. Voice over Harry back here again, and I did say to you this set was repetitive. And I think we can all agree that this Adam Warlock minifigure is one of the best minifigures of all Marvel history. And to be honest, everybody, I was having a really great time watching football and having a proper chance to connect with Marvel Lego until, of course, City won. But sadly, I didn't get the build finished all in time. So let's jump to Tomorrow Meet, where I hopefully have it all built, and we can actually talk about the reasons behind this video. So without further ado, that's a morning transition for you. So here it is everybody, I have finally completed LEGO set 76255, aka the new Guardians of the Galaxy ship. It retails for $100 in the US, which is around £90 here in the UK. I managed to pick this up though for just around $60. That itself is pretty amazing, considering the fact that there's 1,100 pieces and you also get five minifigures. But here's the best part, other than featuring the new Guardians of the Galaxy ship itself and getting four of the main characters, you also also get the exclusive Adam Warlock minifigure. That being said, his minifigure alone is around half the value of the whole bill, as for what I paid for it. This set has only been released this year and it's already scheduled to potentially retire at the end of 2023, which could make it actually very collectible in the near future, especially these minifigures such as Adam Warlock himself or Kennyus, more of you may be familiar with. Sell the place of for the sunny day. You claim the insane and name this place since half a fall and pray to crime. I swear the system got you victim to you. As I'm sure a lot of you are aware, I am not the biggest Marvel fan because I've said this many times in my videos before. Yeah. I normally draw towards Star Wars more than I do towards Marvel. Doesn't mean I don't like it, it just doesn't hit me the same way. But this latest Guardians of the Galaxy film, I thoroughly enjoyed it and I had to check this build out because of the amount of tears it brought to my eye. I really don't think I need to cry again for the rest of this year. But no spoilers around here, it's not what I do. So if you haven't seen it, go and check it out yourself. But no, I'm so blown away with this build. I was certainly skeptical when I got it because you know, I thought I could have bought like another five or six, five and first battle packs. But there is a point where it becomes a little bit too much. Harry. So instead I took a gamble for myself and I did buy the Guardians of the Galaxy ship and my god did I have some fun building it. I think it came out really amazing. 
There's so many cool details to it. The way it attaches to the display stand, it makes it all a bit more sleek because it's not like clanky or anything. But yeah, the minifigures are brilliant. The ship itself is brilliant and I'm blown away by the build. So 10 stars to Lego. I'm more than happy with my purchase. The question I keep asking myself is where exactly do I now go from here? Does this mean that I'm now a Lego Marvel fan? And if so, what am I going to do? Because I think my bank account's already in an economical crisis. So as Vin Diesel would say, I live my life a quarter mile at a time. No, not that one, the other one. I don't have friends. I got family. AKA, okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this like sort of review build video. If you did, remember to like and subscribe because I greatly appreciate it and your help goes a long way in helping us grow the channel and reach new heights so I can bring even better content to you. But thank you all. Have a great rest of your day, evening, afternoon, weekend, wherever you are in the world. Have a great time and I'll see you all very soon. Peace.